It's day three, it's Benidorm, let's do this. First things first, got up, went straight down for breakfast, got straight into it, got a plate of fry up food, a plate of fruit, and a plate of yogurt. Also two coffees, two orange juices, and a water. Oh yeah, I also went for four hash browns on my fry up because these are absolutely amazing and taste just like the McDonald's ones, maybe not just quite as crispy. As we had a beach day yesterday, we thought we'd have a pool day today. This is our pool at the hotel we're staying at. It's pretty impressive. It's not the best, not the worst, but it has a little pool bar on the side as well doing snacks and drinks. Spent the morning here with a couple of Fanta lemons and then decided to go out and get some lunch. Oh yeah, quickly, but before lunch, we popped by an excursion center and we treated ourselves to a trip trip for tomorrow to a waterfall place. It's called Alger Falls. It looks amazing and loads of people are recommended it. So yeah, tomorrow we'll be doing that. We went for a walk down the beach before heading to our favorite lunch spot. This is our favorite spot when we came here last year. And as always, I've completely forgotten the name of it, but if you just watch this video, you can kind of work out where it is. I think it's called El Chiringuito. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that properly, but anyway, they have a great selection of food here at really reasonable prices, just like this chicken burger. Same price as last year, eight quid, and that comes with salad and chicken. It's in a really nice location on the beachfront, so you've got cracking views, cracking drinks. I think a sangria is four euros, and you can also get Fanta Lemon, Diet Coke, Coke for two euro fifty. I was always a Fanta Lemon man, but lately Fanta Orange is just taking the top spot. Here is the food now. Jazz went for a hamburger, and obviously I went for the chicken burger and chips. I'm going to say it, it's not the best chicken burger in the world, so don't go here especially for that chicken burger. But if you just want a nice little meal for lunchtime, this will definitely sort it. Oh, really nice thing about this place: all the chips are made homemade, so they got a real nice crisp, and they're just really nice jazz baguette was huge and yeah the head to burger ratio spot on we then walked back to the hotel got some waters and some ice creams chilled by the pool for about an hour and then we headed out for drinks bandorm got this new hotel it's called the royal arrow well that's what the bar is called underneath it and between 12 and 7 they do pints for 1 euro 50 so we got two pints and the pints are really good they're uh, san miguel the vibe in this bar is really nice and i will definitely be coming back it seems like a bit of like a sports bar it's got loads of tellies and yeah it's, it's a really good place i definitely recommend it add a few pints here and then we headed to our next bar this one was called the red lion this place gets a little bit mental at night we ended up going here later but at this time it was only about eight o'clock and it is pretty quiet as always they got a tribute act on she was pretty good to be fair and yeah san miguel again three euro pint bargain we then headed to our next bar but jazz wants some crisps so we popped by the supermarket and she got herself a massive bag of doritos tex mex this is jasmine's favorite crisp when we're abroad and she's going to demonstrate to you now how she eats them get them in your gob love we then walked to our next bar going past these indian restaurants crikey it must be all having a curry in this weather we then headed back to the place we were last night this place is called talk of the town because jazz really wanted to see chrissy rock from benedorm she does comedy but she also does some singing and to be fair to her yeah she was really really good jazz even got a photo with her at the end and also she followed me on instagram so yeah, big love Chrissy Rock. After that, we then headed to Insomnia because the bloke told me we get two shots if we went in, free of charge. This was uh, Tequila Rose and to be fair, it wasn't that bad. We sat down, had a few more beers and had a look at what Spain has to offer, including this bloke with his incredible throwing technique and these lads on what could be a stag do with their cracking bodies. And then I was ready to go, but I can't really remember why, but Jazz insisted on staying for like another half an hour. Don't know why that was, but yeah, we stayed for a little bit longer before heading back to the Red Lion Bar because yeah, they had Sticky Vicky. If you don't know what Sticky Vicky is, it's an absolute must when you're in Benidorm. Obviously I can't film it, but yeah, it was quite an experience. And then we went back to our place, went to the vending machine, got some chocolates and called it a night.